Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you my new mouse, the Cooler Master MM710. Uh, I will do a quick review about this mouse. I'm really impressed, honestly, first of all, by this mouse. It's the first time that I'm using uh, a cool, ma ma cool Master mouse. Uh, let's start with the specs. So, first of all, really important, the mouse sensor is a PMW3389. So it's pretty much top of the game if you compare to other uh, gaming mouse. So it's kind of perfect. I did a lot of different tests with it and honestly, you don't see any skipping, any weird stuff going on with the sensor. So it's on, it's it's perfect. Um, for the mouse polling rate, it's 1000 Hertz. So no problem with that. They're using Omron switch uh, for both switches. I will talk about it after that. Uh, the mouse weight is 53 gram without the cable. So really, really light. It's uh, kind of surprising, honestly. I never had like a mouse, uh, a light mouse like that. For the past like five years, I was uh, I was always saying why they don't do like a smaller mouse, lighter mouse, and now you're seeing a lot of different mouses on the market and they're all very light, but this one is really, really light. Uh, what can I say? Uh, the maximum DPI is 16,000, so it's a lot. You have seven levels for your DPI, uh, 400, 800, 1,000, uh, 1,200, sorry, and uh, until uh, 16,000. You can uh, find this mouse in two different colors, one in black, one in white. Uh, right now, it's $64 Canadian on Amazon, but I found it at 59 Sometimes they doing like some weird uh, $5 off on the mouse. So yeah, that's about it for the spec. Um, first of all, the first thing that I want to say, the build quality is kind of uh, impressive because as you can see, a lot of different holes in the mouse. And uh, even if you press it and you're trying, you know, to, to flex it, it's kind of like, it's a good build quality. The only issue that I have right now with the mouse is the right click. The right click doesn't feel like the left click. Uh, and it's a bit loose. I can do like some left right stuff going on Honestly, you will not feel it uh, When you're playing any games except first-person shooter, you know when you're aiming with the right click and you try to shoot with the left one Sometimes it feels a, a bit awkward. Not sure if it's my model or they all like that. But anyway uh, I want to I want to say it also, as you can see, uh, a lot of different holes in the mouse because they want to make sure that it's very light, so they remove some plastic. Uh, now we're seeing a lot of different mouse doing that, Final Mouse, Glorious, uh, etc. Uh, I want to say also the skates are really good. Uh, they're gliding really quick. It's uh, very impressive and also you have a small protector when you buy the mouse that you need to remove uh, because they want to make sure that your uh, skates are good to go without any scratch also uh, you're getting a second pair of skate so that's pretty cool too uh, so if I don't know if you're playing with the iron mat and you want to change your skate you can do it pretty easy you don't have to buy a new one uh, also what can I say um, you have yeah you have like uh, the two side button over there they're pretty good uh, when I try to press there it doesn't click I saw a couple of you reviewer that they had this issue for mine, it's pretty, it's good. So both over there, DPI switcher, as you can see, the scroller, the scrolling um, wheel, and the really important thing that I want to say, the cable. The cable is flexible. It's crazy. Uh, honestly, um, other company need to look at this cable. You don't even, uh, you don't even need a bungee with this mouse. It's like you have a wireless mouse. Um, I'm really impressed with the cable. Honestly, it's amazing. Uh, last thing, the shape. The shape itself, it's really, uh, it's a small mouse. So for claw gripping and fingertip, it's perfect. Uh, my, my N is 18.5 um, uh, centimeter. So I can't really palm grip this mouse. It's too small. So honestly, it's more for um, claw gripper or fingertip. Uh, if you want to palm grip this one, you need <laughs> your N needs to be really small. And the other thing that I don't like about the shape it's it's a little bit larger here at the bottom and um, when I play uh, I don't know mobile RTS and stuff like that I don't have any issue with it even in Windows but on FPS game I feel like my aim is not like I don't feel 100% comfortable if I compare this mouse with my G305 so I can show you the difference between both so as you can see here it's more narrow with the G305 uh, and I prefer this shape 
it's not like a critique of this mouse because honestly i think it's a preference thing so if you're used to more like a large button over there um you will prefer for sure this mouse this mouse is really really good i'm really impressed with it so now uh we will go um in the drivers i will show you the software that comes with cooler master again i'm impressed with it it's really clean it's easy to use so let's go in the software so now the driver of the MM710. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to say that I'm very impressed with the software made by Cooler Master. I was not used to Cooler Master with mouse. And honestly, I think it's the best driver right now in the market. I think it's better than the Gia from Logitech. I'm really impressed with it, honestly. It's clear, it's big, it's bold, and it's easy to understand. And I didn't have any issue with it. So really impress. So for first of all, with the button, you can change whatever you want. You can put like multimedia shortcuts, stuff like that. A lot of different stuff that you can change here. As you can see, you can even disable button. You don't want to use, for example, your DPI circle. You can disable it if you want. So after that performance here, uh, you have all your mouse sensitivity. So you can create different uh, level of sensitivity. So for an example, if you want, you can delete all those sensitivity and just use one and two. 800 and 400, you're using a sniper, I don't know, in CS, you prefer 400. But when you're using an assault on the fly, you can press your DPI uh, switcher here and you play at 800. So pretty, uh, it's pretty much a standard right now with gaming mouse. Uh, after that, you can change your polling rate, uh, angle snapping, lift off distance. So a lot of diff different customization that you can do over there. Also, you can create some macros if you want. And the last one is profiles. Pretty clear also. Sometimes I, when you, in some drivers, it's a bit sketchy the way you save your profile. Here it's, it's clean. You can like export it, re-import it and stuff like that. So it's pretty easy. So to conclude, uh, honestly on 10, this mouse is like a 8.5. I really like it. Uh, the skates are great. Uh, the... Um, the, the quality of the my mouse itself is also great. I'm really impressed with the cable. It's so flexible. It's crazy. Uh, honestly, a lot of company should look at this and copy it because it's amazing. You don't you don't need a bungee when you play with this mouse. So I'm really impressed with it. My two critics are uh, the end of the mouse or so the back of the mar mouse is a bit too large for me. Uh, when I play with this mouse in any game, I don't have any issue on any game or Windows except for fps uh, when i play an fps because of the um, the back of the mouse i don't feel 100 percent comfortable i prefer my logitech g305 but uh yeah it's a lot it's light it's lighter than the g305 so it's like uh, i'm not <laughs> i'm not too sure which one i'm gonna use but i think i prefer the g305 for now and the second thing is the right click. It feels a little, a little bit different when I compare it with the left click. It's a bit loose also. So those are my critique. For the rest, everything is fine. It's it's really crazy, honestly. It's, and it's not expensive. So definitely I can recommend this mouse uh, easily. Um, if you have any question about the mouse or other mouse, uh, just uh, comment in the YouTube section. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace, guys.